Hey everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to make this water woman effect. Now, this effect right here is a written tutorial on the internet. So if I flick to the tutorial, here it is here. It's a step by step showing you what to do. But I've had a look through and there is no actual video tutorials explaining on how to do this sort of thing. And some, most people have uh, run into errors with this, with the gradient tool, and they don't know why it's there, and they can't get it to work properly. Which I'm going to show you why it's there, and what it's, you know, for, and stuff like that. Which I got it working, so it's all good. Um, so first things first is you want to download the three main images. Now the three main images are this one right here with the woman and the bubbles and the splash effect right here. Now I'll link you to the images that you'll need so you can download them for this project and I'll also link you to this written tutorial so you can switch between my video and this uh, written one so you can get twice the amount of help. Now first things first is we're going to have to open Photoshop and then open our image right here like so. Now first things first is if you're uh, new at this and you're a beginner don't worry because this isn't a hard tutorial all you gotta do is just follow the steps it's that easy so to open your image you want to go to file and open but if you're more advanced you'll obviously know all this um, double click the layer so we can unlock it like that now once you've done this we're gonna go and select the quick selection tool now in the step-by-step uh, -step tutorial it says a pen tool but I don't like it because I mean it takes too much time and I don't see any need for it so I'm just gonna go and quickly select her now you're gonna have to spend a, quite a bit of time I'm just gonna rush this bit I might miss out a few little bits but you're gonna have a lot more time on your hands to get this just right like that make sure you get the hair like so and if you've gone over too far uh, don't worry you can go to the top and select the minus tool and we're just going to take out like in between her arm like that and down here and just here like so make sure that's all done now when you're selecting around her with the quick selection tool I will give you a little tip you don't need to go as far see if you've got light hair right here like if you zoom in on the hair you've got the dark hair right here and I haven't selected the lighter strands which you don't actually need in this effect so you don't need to select them just select the darker bits like I've done and it's all good so you want to right click and then you want to go layer via copy like so and from here we're gonna go to filter we're gonna go to artistic and we're gonna go to plastic wrap like this wait until it loads now on here, you want to make sure that the highlight strength is 20, the detail is 8, and the smoothness is 6. Now you can play around with the settings. Now if you're um, working on a different picture, so you want this effect but on a different picture, and um, from here, you want to make sure that you play around with the settings because sometimes with the settings I gave you, if you're working on a different image, it can distort the face so you want to play around with them and get them just right but it works just right for this image right here then click OK like that now we're going to desaturate her so we want to hold down the shift control and U and that desaturates now you want to make sure that you're desaturating her and not the background image so you want to make sure that you have her selected when you do that and we're going to move on to step 2 now Now the next step is we're going to uh, put a gradient overlay on her. So next step is to make a new blank layer. Now you can do this by clicking on the new layer icon on the bottom right hand side, like so. And we're going to go and select the gradient at all. Now if you can't find this, if you've got the paint bucket on the left hand side, just uh, hold down the paint bucket and you'll find the gradient tool. Now we're going to go to the top where it says the colours. Just click it like so 
and this box will come up gradient editor now you want to make sure that you select um, right here where it has the four different colors now I've already selected my colors that I want but if you select like say here and you'll get like a multitude of different colors like this one has um, yellow purple orange and blue and you just click on the colors and you'll get a little pipette tool and you just click by the water and you'll find the colors now you want four different colors you want a dark color you want a sort of lightish you want a white color and another light blue and you can find this in the water around her so when it comes to using the gradient um, to blend everything in it should work because we're using the natural colors that is actually behind the image and then we want to click OK now from here we're going to hold uh, down the control key and you want to click on the little icon on layer 1 like that and it will make a selection around her now you want to make sure that you've got layer 2 selected as we're not working on layer 1 we just wanted the selection so from here we're just going to make sure you've got the gradient tool selected and we're just going to drag up like that and it's made a gradient like that and then we're going to hold down the control key again and press D to deselect now once you've done that we're going to just hide that for a minute now we don't need that at, at the minute but we're going to use that last so from here we're going to go and find our next image now I told you to download these three images and the links are going to be in the description like I said this one here we're going to work on so if we drag this to Photoshop now don't drag this onto the image drag it up to the top and it should click in to a new document now we're going to go to the rectangle marquee tool on the left hand side and we're just going to select the bubbles that we need so if you just follow my step we just want this section right here then we're going to go to the move tool and we're just going to take this off and we want to go to the other image that we're working on not that one this one here like this and you want to make sure the bubbles are over our legs now we want to bring the opacity down like that so we can see what we're working on and we want to hold down the control and T key so this makes the free transform tool active now we want to make sure that the bubbles are fine like that now once you've done that we want to hit the tick icon which is at the top like so and we want to go to the eraser tool make our brush a bit bigger not too big and then just erase around her legs the stuff that we don't need now I'm doing this very quickly I ain't paying too much attention on this so I might muck up a little bit but you're gonna have a lot more time on your hands to do all this a lot better you wanna make sure that you get in between the legs like so just like that and along here you wanna make sure that there's no bubbles on there because that's her clothes we're just actually working on the skin like that. and you want to just take this edge away because we don't want a predefined straight edge like that and from here we're going to hold down the control key and the U like so and we're going to take the saturation to minus 79 so type that in and then click OK and we're going to put the blend mode to hard light so something like that now from here if you're working on a different image of a person and uh, they've got a, obviously they might have a lot more clothes on them you just want to work on their actual say their face or their the you know this where you can see their hands or any skin you don't want to work on their clothes because it's not going to look right like we're doing in this image right here right the next step is we're going to work on the next picture so we want to flick over and select our next picture which is the splash picture and we're going to 
drag and drop into Photoshop at the top, remember, not on the picture. And then we're going to go to our rectangle marquee tool. And then we're just going to select the top portion of the image. We don't want anything else. And then we're just going to go to the move tool and then drag and drop onto our image. Now from here, we're going to drop down the opacity. Do exactly the same like we did to the legs, but a tiny bit different. Like so. And we're going to go Control and T to free transform. Bring it all the way up to the head. There we go. Bring it out a little bit. Now you can experiment uh, different ways uh, with this portion of the tutorial. You can like, flip it, change it, whatever you want to do with it. But I'm just going to keep it like this. And that's the way it is in the tutorial, in the other tutorial as well. We're going to click the tick icon. And then from here we're going to go the eraser tool and we're just going to bring the brush up just a bit so we can take this out really quickly. I'm just going to go around taking the stuff that we don't need off the image like that. that and we want to drop the brush down you want to make sure that you get in between the arms because you'll have this white mist which we don't want I'm just doing this very quickly I don't want to you know then from here if you look at the cuffs you'll get like a straight line where you've put the image when well, we don't want that so we're just going to just dab our brush lightly so it doesn't look like it's a straight line we're also going to do this on the waist just click randomly on the waist there and it should take it away now the next portion of the written tutorial it says to press ctrl and l for levels now we're going to drop the middle bar down to 0 0.50 so something like that and i'm going to click ok now for me it says uh, in the tutorial ctrl and u and play around with the settings in this to get the right colour. Now, this part of the tutorial I absolutely hate because I don't think it's right. But, you know, you can prove me wrong. You can uh, do that side of the tutorial. But I'm going to show you a different way, the way I like to do it on my own. So, I'm going to go and select that portion, what we're working on, which is the splash. We're going to hold down the control and I key to inverse the colour. Now it's really dark at the moment, which we totally don't want. And from here, we're going to go and press Ctrl and L to play with the levels again. And we're going to just put in a few figures here. So the first one is going to be 57. The next one is going to be 1.42. And we're going to keep 255 on the next one and then click OK. Now it's do, still quite dark so we don't want that. So we're going to put the blend mode to subtract so if we just find subtract and it's quite blended in quite well. So from here we're going to go and you can from here you can press Ctrl and U and play around with these levels as well um, depending on how you like but it is all going to come together once we put the gradient overlay onto view and stuff like that. Now, I don't need to play around with them, but you can if you want to. 